Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to set up this Agital uh, cheap router and Wi-Fi extender from Amazon as a router. So this will be if you've got um, a broadband connection which is PPPoE, for example uh, a lot of the fibre to the cabinet connections in the UK, uh, if you have the open reach modem because you still need something to take it from the telephone socket on the wall into a Cat5 Ethernet socket or Ethernet lead. Um, and some providers, especially full fibre providers, just use plain Ethernet where you all you'd need to do is plug the network connection into the WAN side and you'd be good to go. But for BT Internet and uh, several other providers, you need to use PPPoE. So I'm going to plug the WAN cable, so this cable goes off to the open reach modem or any modem in bridge mode. And I'm going to plug that into the WAN side. So this side on the left here is the LAN side. You do not want to plug your router into the LAN side. You want to plug it into the right hand side, which is the WAN connection. And the WAN light has lit up. And I'm going to fire up a web browser. And I'm going to go to the IP address of the Agatil router by default, which is 192.168.10.253. Oh, but that won't work because I'm not connected to a network. So I'm going to click my wireless network icon. I'm going to find the wireless N, which is the default name of this Agatil router. It's called wireless-N. Uh, I'm going to click on that and click on connect. And now, you might need to click refresh, but Chrome did it automatically for me. It's come up with the Agatil router logon. The default username and password is admin, and the password is admin. And click on submit. Then we're into the pretty terrible interface of this router. I'm going to click on the wizard. So this section up here, not particularly clear, but this is the wizards section you need to click on where it says router. So if you were on some of the TalkTalk Talk style connections over fibre to the cabinet, um, or a full fibre service, potentially like HyperOptic, you would just leave it on automatically obtain an IP address, but for uh, DSL based stuff and possibly some cable based connections you need PPPoE and for BT broadband the login is BT at btbroadband.com if you're over on TalkTalk Talk and using PPPoE uh, there'll be a specific username and password for your account if you're using Gamma Telecom, Daisy Telecom or any of the resellers of them uh, you will be you will have a specific username and password that you need to use. So you might need to speak to your internet provider to get the PPPoE details. The password will be just password for BT. And then it's up to you whether you want to set the Wi-Fi details. It's a very good idea too because otherwise it's unencrypted and anyone can join your network and do whatever they want over your broadband. So I'm going to call this wireless network Agatil router. I am going to set a specific channel of channel 1 because I know that that is the one which has the least interference in this uh, area uh, and also I, I feel like if you have your wireless in auto mode it might decide to change channel in the middle of when you're watching Netflix or something and it will disrupt your connection momentarily while it moves its connection around so I generally like to set a specific channel. Security mode. Always, unless you have really old equipment that won't connect, try to use the WPA2 option. Uh, WPA and the mixed mode may leave you vulnerable to um, people getting in or bypassing the password at some point. I'm not sure what state we're at in uh, security of the older WPA, but if you can use WPA2, you should. 
and wireless password. I'm going to call it zero shell one with an exclamation mark. So click save and well, yeah, save and reboot. And hopefully by now it's restarted, and if I click on my list of wireless networks, there we are. I see Agatal Router, which I've managed to misspell, but anyway. Connect, and the password that I just gave it. And even though Windows is saying I don't have internet, if I scroll down, to WAN status, we've got PPPoE is connected and it has an IP address. So that is how to configure this Agatil router for internet connectivity using PPPoE. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has been, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks.